go down to the ACC. I guess we can stay in the on the East Coast, the ACC. Clemson UNC. This is a game for a spot in the Orange Bowl. Orange Bowl. Yeah. Uh, we had I had Clemson Miami. Miami is not going to be even making a bowl game, and UNC is coming off a loss. Clemson is also coming off a loss. And this game is at 6 Mountain Time on ABC, yeah. again, uh, which is going to be at the same time as the Big Ten Championship game. So nobody's going to be watching it. The game doesn't really mean anything. But I think I like Clemson. I think there's just a little bit too much talent on their, on that roster for UNC to overcome. And this game might come down to special teams. And I trust Clemson's kicker. More than I trust the UNC kicker. Ooh, especially after last week. Yep. And what is probably could be potentially one of DJ Uyunglele's last game in a Clemson uniform. I could see him transferring. I'm well, you, I'm actually I, surprised that Dabo has stuck with him. I as am as he has because I, I would have thought after the Notre Dame game, put Kate in. Yeah. And Cade's a stud. Cade is a Cade stud. Is, Cade is that dude. And, you know, Dabo did this in 2018 when they were still undefeated. You know, um, um, why am I draw, drawing a blank on the former quarter? Um, Kelly Bryant. Kelly Bryant. Kelly Bryant. Yep. Kelly Bryant had a – no, they lost They lost to Syracuse in 17. But, you know, they were 11-1 and one that year. They were the number one seed going into the playoff. They're undefeated going in, in that 2018 – 18 season and he said i needed a change this offense needed a spark we're going to put the five-star freshman trevor lawrence in they went on to go undefeated win the national title and beat alabama's ass in the title game i don't know why he didn't go to Cade this year after that notre dame game because at that point they still had an opportunity to sneak in the playoff as a four seed um but dylan how does dj go nine i think nine of 28 last week for 99 yards and and still have a job that that doesn't make any sense to me i mean that's worse than spencer petrus and to considering how much talent he has and i get it clemson's wide receivers and their running games not the same as what it was these last couple years which isn't fair because that was the elite of the elite and they still have a good running back will shipley yep yep which they and and they I think they try to be a pass first team when they really should be a run first team. Should be run first team. Especially with a guy like Shipley, where you can use play action and use DJ's legs, which he has proven that's kind of where you see him at his best. He's he's not meant to be a drop back passer. You need him out on sprint outs or roll outs, play action. Like like when Caleb Williams, when the play breaks down, let him go be an athlete. Um but so yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I, I think DJ's gonna transfer after this year because it's Cade's it's Cade's starting job. And if that's not the case, I could see Cade transferring. Couldn't you? In today's world yep. of college football, he'll sit back and he'll say, Oklahoma needs a quarterback, Miami needs a quarterback. Um you yeah, know, there's a plot could potentially need a quarterback. Potentially need a quarterback. You're telling me they wouldn't want the number one quarterback in his class. Um, you know, from Texas, he's the only, and he was the only number one because Quinn Ewers reclassified, but still, Kate is a dude. And when he's played this year, he's played, he's played well. But, yep, uh, to kind of you know brag and feel good about myself, I, I did pick UNC uh, at the beginning of this year, okay. And uh, uh, full intent was not because I knew their defense was anything I knew their defense was going to be awful. I just really trusted this Carolina offense to score more points than everyone else. <laughs> and, and they did that. They did that. Um, you know, Drake may, he's got to be one of the more underappreciated superstars in the college football season this year. I think more passing yards than CJ Stroud. He used to have the most touchdowns accounted for, but I think Caleb Williams might have something to say about that. Now, you know, he's, he's, he's having a great year uh, and this Carolina offense can score a lot of points. Whew, but this Carolina defense is bad, and they give up. They give up a lot of points too. I mean, last week to their hated rivals, North Carolina State, the third string redshirt freshman quarterback comes in and plays like an All American. Yeah, and, well, and Drake Drake May he he's he's also the leading rusher on the team this year too. He's got yep. six hundred twenty 
630 yards, six touchdowns, 3,800. He'll, he'll eclipse the 4,000 passing yards in this game, uh, 35 touchdowns, five interceptions. Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't realize this until like a couple of weeks ago that his older brother is Luke May. It's Luke May, yeah. And I guess um, also, you know, Alec was telling me uh, their oldest brother in the family was a, a college pitcher at the University of Florida. Okay. And he won a college world series with the Gators. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a pretty, and, pretty good genes. And I think, I think mom and dad were college athletes at Carolina too. So, so he's got the genetics on his side. Um, but, but back to the game here, I'm with you. I like Clemson more in this game just because I trust their defense to make more plays and get after Drake may than what I think this Carolina offense, Carolina defense will do to this Clemson offense. This, this front four for Clemson will be able to, get after May consistently, uh, make him feel the pressure and, you know, make a couple of mistakes like he did last week. And that'll be enough to get the Tigers to play in the orange bowl. And who knows, maybe we'll get Clemson, Alabama in the orange bowl this year. That wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have, would it? No, no, not at all. The, the total is 63 and a half. I kind of like that over there. I, I like the over too because I, I think the winning team might have, you know, 35, um, 35, 40 points in this game. I, I also don't know how much I can trust the Clemson defense that gave up 31 points to Spencer, Spencer. Rattler. Well, you know, on that last, that last touchdown when they decided to just not cover the guy. Yeah. <laughs> he just decided to fall down at midfield and, and let him score. And I, I didn't. Didn't really get to watch a whole – I didn't watch a single play of that game, but I know Spencer Rattler's the quarterback for South Carolina. Scored 31 points. Well, and then also, uh, you know, just, since this game really doesn't matter for either one of these teams, are these defenses going to be interested in playing? Well, we know Carolina's defense hasn't been interested in playing. In playing all year. So, but with that, you know, I like the Tigers – um, my prediction from August holds true. And I also said they wouldn't make the college football playoff. So uh, at least I got one right. I got there one. You go. There you go. All right. And 